sub-series, parts and pieces, we will be uh, showcasing the Lego Technic uh, pieces that you will be using to build your robot and attachments. Um, it's very important that you get to know the terminology um, because you need to know what you're working with. So um, it's very important that you know all your parts and pieces. Um, so uh, with that being said, let's jump on to the topic of this video, which is beams and axles. So beams and axles will be your uh, main tool to build your robot and attachments. So beams are these long pieces of Lego that have holes running through them. And axles are these rods that have a cross shape. Okay, so uh, beams come in length three holes like so all the way to length 15 holes uh like this one and uh they always come in an odd number of holes uh, as you can see as i'm showcasing all the beams on this turntable uh they come in you know length three holes five holes seven all the way to 15. and what makes them great building blocks uh is that they you can build them sideways like this or you can build them uh into a long line uh like like this and, um, you know, they're going to make up probably 70-80% of your robot um, because they're uh, just great for building, they're very modular, and you can connect them to other pieces and each other very easily. So now we're going to talk about axles, and axles are these uh, rods that have a cross shape running through them, and uh, axles fit perfectly into these uh, cross shape holes, or axle shape holes, and they fit really tightly in it, and it's uh, relatively hard to move it across the axle. And axles are very good converters, and when I say converters, I mean that they can hold a lot of different interesting pieces. So for example, I just put a bunch of uh, pieces that have an axle shape hole on this axle, and there's many more, but this is just to give you an idea of how many there are. So it's really good converter in the sense that uh, when you want to um, put a specific piece, you can use an axle and um, attach it onto the axle because uh, the axle has holds many different kinds of interesting pieces that have uh, specific functions on it. So it's a pretty good converter. And these uh, all fit really tightly on here. So And now, uh, if you put an axle through a hole in the beam, what happens is that it slides really loosely and it you know spins around. So this is really good for making elevators or uh, like attachments where you want something to move around, slide around. And just like you know a little side tip, there actually is a, a worm gear actually piece that it's an axle shaped hole, but it slides freely around the axle. It actually spins along with the axle. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it spins along with the axle, but it moves side to side. It's just like, you know, something extra. So you can actually measure the length of an axle, uh, just like how you can measure the length of a beam by counting how many holes it is long. So with an axle, you just want to put it next to a beam and just count how many holes uh, it's long. So for example, this has uh, this axle has hole length 6, and this axle has hole length 5. And if you notice, all the regular axles, um, all the black axles have an even hole length, and all the odd uh, hole length axles are gr uh, light gray, except for the little red uh, length 2 axle. That's kind of like an exception. Um, and now we can move on to special axles. And special axles are axles that have just a little addition to them. So right now we have a length 3 axle with a stud on top. And the stud allows um, you to attach regular Lego pieces on top. Uh, like that. And now we also have these flat top axles that have a flat top. And uh, what they do is they allow you uh, to stop, have a little stopper when you put it through, an, uh, through a beam. And if you notice, it's a uh, mesh along the edge, so it's completely flat on top. So it's kind of like a blocker. 
And we also have these axles that have kind of something in between, a um, little blocker in between, and the little blocker prevents um, prevents axle holes from going all the way through it, and it also prevents uh, a beam from going all the way through it. Yeah. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.